The dollar is shrinking. The market is sinking, and life is becoming a curse. Listen, I'm a dollar eighty short. The shortage has hit us. The tax man has bit us, and things are just gonna get worse. Oh, come on, let's go before they raise the prices again. The service is rotten. The consumer's forgotten. You seem to pay double. Relax. Here's a girl you'll adore. You've met her before. Let's see how she handles this mess. They've just gotten married, and their life feels complete as they set out together, Henrietta and Pete. Pete drives a taxi, but his dreams are for more. Three thousand bucks and I could make it. And she knows in her heart they won't always be poor. Not if she can help it. If you could just lend us three thousand dollars for one week. But the dollar is shrinking. Our credit is sinking. The stock market's dropped out of sight. If this goes down another buck or so, we're wiped out. The food bill's tremendous. The phone bill's offended. The banker's not even polite. She won't take defeat. There's a man on the street. And he's dying to lend her the bread. But there's only one trouble. She pays him back double. And if you don't have it by tomorrow, you're dead. Pete! You'd be glad to hear Pete's alive, but I've got to have $5,000 for Mrs. Cherry. I've never cheated before, you know. <laughs> cheating is when it's for fun. This is business. Struggle! But not too hard. Okay. Don't hear me. I don't hear you. Ah! Oh! You told me to struggle. Oh, too hard, too hard. Take this package, get on the subway, get off at Burrow Hall. Don't make a mistake. Don't make a mistake. So, they're part of the mob. Well, a job is a job. Now she's a drop for the Visconti brothers. Police, you're under arrest. Oh. Don't let her go! What the hell? There's a pervert after me! Let go! I'm a police officer! Where's your badge? Into my bra! Don't worry about the package. I didn't lose it. Run! Run! She blew that one badly. She'll do anything gladly. This whole mess is becoming a battle. Here's the first in the life of a cab driver's wife. Back, back, back. Her new job involves rustling cattle. Help! For Pete's sake, there's still more. Ah! Her life's hardly a bore. Hey, lady! Though sometimes she thinks she's a booby. It all seems so unreal. She can't help but feel. That her, her life, life is, is a, a comedy, comedy movie. Now that's what I call realism. Columbia Pictures and Raystar Pictures wish to apologize to Barbara Streisand, Michael Sarazen, and the people of Brooklyn, New York for allowing us to destroy their city to make this film possible. For Pete's sake.